Hello and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Cedric here in Antwerp with a brand new brew review. Today I am taking on another Spanish beer and this time from a brewery we haven't talked about yet, namely Estrella Galicia. Not to be confused with Estrella Dam or Estrella de Levante. Today we are having the 1906 Reserva Especial, also nicknamed La Milnueve. The 1906 brand is a range of specialty beers by Estrella Galicia and the name refers to the year in which the original La Estrella de Galicia was founded by Jose Maria Rivera Corral. That name will come back later on. The 1906 beers are brewed in their Hijos de Rivera facility, so the sons of Jose, in A Coruña in the northwestern part of Spain. This particular beer, the 1906 Reserva Especial, is a lager made with different kinds of pilsen and toasted malts and corn and nugget and pearl hallertau hops. So I'm expecting kind of a bitterness and aroma uh, balance in here. It's brewed with an original sugar content of 15 degrees Play-Doh and has an ABV of about 6.5%, leaving less than two Play-Dohs of residual sugar. So, sounds like something I would like. La Mil Nueve is matured extra long to induce flavor evolution before it hits the shelves. Now, let's see what this bottle tells us. Uh, I absolutely like this, this packaging. Um, they are one-way bottles, unfortunately, I don't really like that, but the bottles are embossed. Now, the label is quite simple, it's like beige, red and brown, um, like an old newspaper label. It does have some info about the beer, and this beer has won several awards, so it mentions those awards here as well. It is categorized as a Helles Bock uh, for them, which is basically yeah, a clear buck or a clear amber or a darker lager. Nothing too shocking on this bottle. So let's have a taste. That does indeed have a beautiful color. Uh, I'd say here they didn't only use Pilsen malts, but also Cara malts. Nice golden amber color. Some off-white foam, not, not entirely white, but off-white foam, kind of like that. Rather dense foam, some pearling up there as well. So looks quite nice. Ooh, a very, very pleasant fragrance. Um, I do get some maltiness and some hoppiness in there, some bitterness as well. Slightly toasty scents. Uh, now, bear in mind, this beer is rather cold, so not all of the aroma has opened up yet, but that will do so in a minute. Yeah, very pleasant, a bit more bitter than expected. Um, but of course, it does have a very low residual sugar count and it is rather hopped. Um, I do like that Pearl Hallertau, by the way. So, yeah, looks nice, smells nice. Let's have a taste. Yeah. This tastes uh, pretty much as expected. Um, it is leaning towards the amber, leaning towards a, a little bit of sweetness in there, but it's basically rather dry, quite bitter. Um, bitterness because it's well fermented, but also bitterness because of the hopping. Um, yeah, not, not much special in there, just a, a, a very straightforward, decent 
uh, beer. I really like this a lot. Um, also very thirst quenching, works on the back of the throat and the mouth here. Very full as well, very nice body. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> Lovely taste. Um, I do get a tiny hint of caramel in there. Um, also some of those toasty flavors, uh, a bit of actual toast, like roasted bread. Um, a tiny hint of coffee. Yeah. So I actually guess that these guys have their grain bill absolutely on point. Um, very well balanced, very complex actually, because you would think this is a very simple beer, but it does have a very complex flavor palette, um, which is surprising and which is always nice to discover. Very nice. Also a very pleasant aftertaste. And in the aftertaste, the aroma of the roasted malts is, is released a bit more. Um, I do get a bit more toastiness, a bit more coffee um, in that aftertaste. A bit of that bitterness as well. Uh, not sweet at all. Well, yeah, I'm sold on this beer. Um, and as said, it is a 6.5 percenter, even though it comes in very light, it is pretty carbonated as well. Uh, so a very, very nice, pleasant mouthfeel. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure to look this up whenever I'm back in Spain. Um, yeah, absolutely like this. How would I score this beer? let's say um yeah let's call this like a 375 because if we put this next to any decent pilsner beer or lager beer um this will really hold up uh, i think this could easily compete with like half of the belgian pilsner style beers uh, and i I am inclined to say that I actually like this even more. So, yeah, at least three and a half, three seventy-five easily. Okay, that all being said, guys, um, as usual, if you like this video, leave a comment down below, hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, again, comment section. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You'll be the first to know whenever I upload something. If you want to support this channel, uh, don't bother. I don't have any links or anything. Um, but just share a video somewhere and spread the word and I will see you guys again in a few days with another brew review uh, yeah, I'll be back here every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. until then cheers <laughs>